My name is John Neewunder. I'm a wildlife biologist supervisor. I've been working for the Michigan DNR Wildlife Division for 21 years. Chronic wasting disease is a neurological disease that affects deer, elk, and moose, uh, mostly in North America, but in a few other countries as well. Been around for 40 or 50 years. It's uh, not a typical disease, not a virus or a, a bacteria. It's caused by uh, misfolded proteins. Uh, we call those prions. They're normal, but when they become misfolded, they don't function, and the deer has a lot of problems with uh, brain activity. CWD was initially found in uh, Colorado and Wyoming 40 some years ago. It has uh, gradually and slowly and consistently spread to other states. It's in well over 20 states and a few Canadian provinces, a few other countries. But it popped up in Michigan a few years back. The harder we look, uh, we, the more we find. We've got several counties that have it now. We're working to get an idea of what the prevalence rate is, what the geography of the disease is in Michigan. Deer with chronic wasting disease um, do not often appear sick. It takes six to nine months or more even for them to start showing symptoms. So a lot of the deer in the wild, they look perfectly normal, they look perfectly healthy. You cannot tell if they have chronic wasting disease. So that's why we recommended uh, that folks that harvest deer in areas where we know of chronic wasting disease could get their deer tested. Once deer have the disease for a while, they do start to show symptoms. The ears droop, they get very skinny because they've stopped eating. They salivate and drool a lot, and just the general fear of humans is gone. So transmission of the disease from deer to deer is, is a bit of a mystery, but generally it's passed from saliva or feces or urine that hits the ground, is picked up by other deer when they're sniffling around and drinking. Uh, they ingest materials from the ground, and that's generally how they get it. Passing it from, from doe to fawn is not a clear link. It's generally give, uh, picked up from the ground or from the environment. It's not passed by mosquitoes or bugs or ticks or anything like that. Eating deer with chronic wasting disease would be a bad idea. Um, no hunter has ever gotten chronic wasting disease. Health professionals recommend not eating a deer if you know it's sick. We do recommend that if you're hunting in an area uh, and you harvest a deer, you get some venison from that area that you have that deer tested. So what we really need is for people to keep hunting and uh, get their deer tested if they're concerned about the disease. Chronic wasting disease is a serious problem in many states, including Michigan. Many states have it much worse than we do. They have a lot more deer. The prevalence rate is a lot higher. In Michigan, we've had uh, just over 120 deer test positive, around 1% of the deer or less. We just want to uh, make sure people are aware of uh, the disease, what they're getting into. Uh, each state agency is working on uh, controlling and trying to monitor the disease. We have a lot of universities and fish and wildlife agencies that are possible uh, ways to, to fight the disease. Unfortunately, no big breakthroughs yet, um, but there is a lot going on to try to, to make this disease uh, something we can live with and deal with in the future.